but we need to go to our here. We have 30 minutes later. Yeah.
done very well. And it's only fair to call you together directly once a year and tell you that you have done it very well, sincerely speaking, very well. The average man on the street in Lagos now feels, touches, almost smells health. Yes. Because not only, of course, has government made it possible for it to be happening, you have made it possible for the poor people to know that it is happening and that they no longer feel despondent as before or feel resigned to think as before out of ignorance. But now you made them to be aware of what is possible, what is available, and more important of all, what they should do and where they can access what is available. And every month to be put in the various primary health centers so that our people in the neighborhood can walk in and collect anti malaria as well as routine antenatal drugs for their children, for themselves, and so on. Free of charge. Free of charge. And we will need you to further help us to allow our people on the ground to be aware of that. We still need your help in that way. Don't forget where we are coming from. We are coming from an era where the ordinary member of the public had become so disenchanted with the healthcare system and has assumed that it was no longer existing. I think the uh, operation parts will now be cheaper. We're talking in the range of 4,000 naira, 6,000 naira, to buy the aim is to make sure that these services are brought down to the people. And we feel we should alert you on it so that you can help us encourage more of our people and receive these services. And also, Help us act as what we can call uh, monitors, you know, like to help us ensure that these programs go the real. Thank you very much. Your first question that these various people that we've been doing in the last one year, what does it call them, right? Well, I don't know how to calculate. the personnel costs, as well as what we call overhead costs, and you want to talk about uh, capital outlay, I can assure you that you will probably be talking, sincerely speaking, sincerely speaking, uh, it's a bit difficult, but if I put the personnel costs, you may consider that too astronomical. <laughs> so let us put personnel costs aside. When I say personnel costs means the personnel, the specialists, the, the, the professionals that give those services, how much did we pay them? If you talk only in terms of overheads alone, including the drugs, the medicaments, the consumables, and so on and so forth. I can assure you it's in excess of a billion naira. A billion naira. I can assure you. I'm not exaggerating here. I'm not exaggerating here. That we should be able to take care of about, uh, let's say, 250 in terms of operating them. I want to let you know that that will be dependent on the number of people picked up during the screening. I hope you understand me. If we pick up 300 people that need such a will have to we don't turn away anybody. We don't say, look, we can only do 100 of you. The rest can come back another time. We do all. You understand? So, maybe if you propagate it well enough, 
and people come out well enough, and we manage to beat 500 people who did it, then lo and behold, it's 500. Okay? In the first island of speaking. What we have gone so far, uh, by targeting the doctors, and they need a place of rest, a comfortable place of rest. So, um, after the What we have put here, we will touch the of the We have decided that the GST will be paid for this monthly. And we have maybe I'm still to think about it. We will be decided of more or more comfort we can give to the doctors. Which we can contribute maybe some bottle of coke in the
nothing that's noticed is the tremendous uh, improvement that's been noticed in this general hospital. Why is so much uh, priority attention given to this hospital? Uh, uh, the uh, attention has been given not just to this hospital but to the health sector by this government. Uh, the governor, as you know, believes in the fact that health is wealth, believes in the fact that one of the surest ways of touching the lives of the people, particularly the poor masses, is in the, through the health sector. And more importantly is that as an, an administration, we believe that after payment of our salaries, the rest of the money belongs to the people. So we must spend it on them to make sure they are not only alive, but they are well. So with that in mind, you can understand why there's so much happening in the health sector for the better and for improvement in the health status of our people. If you are going to be specific, sir, specifically as, as this your administration turns on this uh, through this hospital on the last obligation. Thank you very much. You will notice that now more people have access to the hospitals. Now the hospitals have better attitudes to them. The patient is now the king. Those are all the reasons that are behind the health sector reform. To make sure that people are better served, that the hospitals become more patient friendly. But more importantly is the fact that in level of care, things that the hospitals could not cope with before, they are now coping with. We start talking now about skin grafting. We start talking now about specialized orthopedic surgeries. We start talking about open heart surgeries. We start talking about so many things that are far ahead and beyond the ordinary uh, hospital care that you know. Now we do them in our general hospitals. We talk less of our, how much more in our teaching hospitals. So. Uh, the level has improved, in short, tremendously, and we are very happy about that. We want to thank the governor and uh, the entire cabinet for the support they have given to the health sector. So what should the government expect? They should expect more of this. Uh, they, will, they should expect more mass screenings that will pick out the poor people who are penniless, who are poor, and who have all these ailments, hernia, thyroid, prostate and so many things like that eye defects and so on because they are going to be given free surgeries free screening and so on. we're going to have more of that because as i said as a government we believe the money belongs to the people and we should spend it for their benefit it's a pleasure that we all gathered here today. Father, we bless you for the life of all the management. We thank you for the workers of this hospital. We thank you for our patients. We thank you for our able commissioner who is here today to rejoice with us, thanking God for that beautiful new year. Lord our God, we realize we are all sinners and we are not worthy. We beg you, God, to please pardon our sins and forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty God, we commit this program to your able hand. We beg you, Father, our oh God, 
to please come and conduct this program in Jesus' name. Take absolute control of all the situation. And at the end of this program, we will have the cause to glorify your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. We to welcome the director of medical director, General Hospital Lagos, Dr. Mrs. Olufunlayo Olatunji. You are welcome, man. Put that together to welcome him. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> Director of Finance and Accounts, Mr. Mrs. Azil. Put that together to welcome him. Ah, you are welcome, man. Director of Planning and uh, <laughs> Planning Research and Statistics, Dr. Osinoga, you are welcome, sir. <laughs> the Pharmaceutical Director, Mrs. Elperombe, you are welcome, ma'am. <laughs> the Doctor in Charge of Staff Clinic, Dr. Odeni Day, you are welcome, ma'am. <laughs> the acting HOD of uh, Surgical Department, Dr. WCO, no, Dr. Ubulano, you are welcome, sir. Your hands together. Welcome, um, the doctor in charge of Surgical Department, Dr. Yasper. <laughs> We have two major directors here. Please
Yes. On va taper. Il faut son nom. On va taper pour prononcer le nom de ce matin. On va taper pour prononcer le nom de ce matin. Pour moi, c'est. Now, I'm going to come to the other side. Doctor, you can get to the other side. Now, we are going to write the number five. Where are my dress? Ah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And your speaker has his own idea. Who's that to go back for that? The chief is going to be for the next. Uh, it's a special song and then it's a uh that we are here to provide qualitative healthcare service in a healthy and friendly environment. The Hospital Management Committee, in line with the policy of the Ministry of Health, have been able to encourage staff to rededicate themselves to their work with a view to giving better services to our people. And the result of this has been obvious through letters of appreciation from patients that were treated in our hospitals. The various departments in the hospital have witnessed an appreciable increase in the number of patients that we have seen in our hospital. And the total attendance of patients for the year 2004 is 159,266 patients with an average of 435 patients a day. In all, the hospital had a total admission of 8,341 patients inclusive of admission of the casualty, the latents, and the wards, and thus increasing the bed occupancy rate from 39% in the year 2003 to 41.3% in 2004. 
in 2004. In the year 2004, a total of 1,709 road traffic accident cases were treated as a lack And a total of 282 abandoned patients were actually treated in the hospital. And as a way of improving healthcare delivery service, the hospital has been able to carry out the following projects through internally generated revenue in the last one year. And these include the installation of intercom system with 101 extension lines to serve the whole complex. The reactivation of water supply to all wards and clinics and the provision of three new boreholes to serve as backup. Repairs of the leaking roof at the Lassens Library as well as the refurbishment of the library itself. We have also done painting of the interior part of all the walls. We have purchased many medical equipment and instruments, too many to actually enumerate here. We have also installed the digital satellite television to all offices, clinics and walls to make the stay in the hospital a bit more interesting for the patients. We have also provided automatic film processor at the radiology department to reduce the waiting time period of the patients. We have also had installation of chemistry, installation of chemistry auto-analyzer equipment, which has been provided on a reagent purchase agreement basis on the chemical pathology department. Also, the, there has been a flooring of the gymnasium at the physical medicine department just to mention a few, because if I continue to enumerate all what we have been able to do in the past one year, we will not leave this place today. The Honorable Commissioner, sir, the Permanent Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, it is important to let you know, sir, that we do have some problems that will appreciate your audience assistance. And that has to do with the leaking roof. We all know that this hospital is 112 years old. And it is a sorry sight to behold if you come to the hospital during the rainy season where you can hardly get a bed space on the upper floor without having water dripping through all the beds and the walls. So we will appreciate your urgent attention in this area. Another area of need is our newly refurbished library which is lacking for books. We currently do not have enough books in our library and we think this will also require urgent attention. To our retirees, I wish to welcome you all and your family to this hospital on this wonderful day. It is a happy occasion for you all as you have served very seriously and we believe you deserve this central party and actually much more than that. It is our hope, it is our hope that this small effort of ours is seen and accepted as a token of our appreciation of all your years of service. We pray that the Almighty God will continue to guide and protect you as you move to another stage in life. I wish you seize this opportunity to thank all members of the Monday Round, that is the Monday Monday Gang, as nicknamed by the Honorable Commissioner, who are never tired of my so many complaints and criticisms of their departments. I hope you understand it's all in an effort to ensure that we remain focused and undeterred. I should also say thank you and well done to all participants on the administrative call duty roster. Your efforts and contributions to the smooth running of the hospital is well appreciated. I cannot end my address without saying thank you to our dear Commissioner for Health, our permanent secretaries from the Ministry of Health and the Hospitals Management Board for their interest in the progress and development of the hospital. This has actually encouraged us to believe that with you behind us, the sky is actually the limit for our great hospital. I want to conclude this address by pledging our determination to continue to do our best by ensuring that the patient remains the king in our hospital. Once again, I welcome you all to join us with the gospel, and I thank you all very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Shame 
Doctor, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the Giving glory to the Lord. To the Lord. Giving glory 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 to the Lord. Ambulance your fare, you want to see Maro say go go on. Fun go go accident, to ba sell it. You want to see Maro go to ba accident, you show what doctor leke be done. You go e go on, what you want ba kola kwa, you go ba lofe lofo, you show what doctor leke be done. E ba fun ola te wato ni le. E ba wo a, you go e le wo san ti a wo e le, e le e le e le la wa, you show what doctor leke be done. Enter. We commission a bank. She said that uh, you know how man do silly. That was all. No. We are sorry for the interruption, please. Now we are going straight. The next program, I'm going to invite our able permanent secretary. I'm really very happy to be here today and uh, I want to first of all on behalf of the Commissioner he's going to thank you himself you know and uh, the management of the board and the management of Ministry of Health I want to first of all congratulate you all for the wonderful work you've been doing. We really appreciate what you are doing. We identify with it and we want to thank you very, very, very much for doing the ministry, the board. You can, it is a known fact that all over Lagos now, people who hear people say, H Lagos, GH Lagos, H Lagos is the best. Is the best. In Lagos State. It is GH Lagos and others in Nigeria. Well, this occasion started since 1996 and I want to thank you for really keeping it up. It is to celebrate the end of year, to recognize some of you who have worked very during the past year. And I want to say, the Merit Awards is just symbolic. You know, so many people work very hard throughout the year, but you can only recognize a few. And if you recognize, I want to tell them that this is a challenge. It means you have to work even harder. 
We want people to emulate you, and that is why this night is what you are doing done. The retirees of today, I want to congratulate them for working very so much for very long of years. We want to really wish them well in this new life because retirement is a retiring to a better way of life. We are your master now. You can wake up with decide to stay in bed all day and you can decide to do wonderful uh, things. So we want to wish you a very happy, peaceful, healthy, and prosperous uh, retirement period. So uh, we will continue to thank the good Lord for your lives. And I want to appeal to all staff of General Hospital that we are expecting even more from them in 2005. Your medical director has enumerated so many things that you have done and uh, we appreciate them and we are expecting more this year. I want to thank the medical director She's been wonderful. In fact, she was one of the winners of uh, this Merit Award in 1998. She won the Merit Award with the most willing hands. So this is the most So I want to thank her and her team because I've always said it's the team work. And she has acknowledged that all of have been very competitive. I want to thank all members of the management committee and I want to congratulate everyone in the health sector that we are into a new thing in the present past. We all remember the fact that we had a public hearing on the new 